After years of searching, the townsfolk of Pakistan had settled in the Great Plains and founded Pakistan too. After some deliberation, they decided that Pakistan too wasn't a cool name, so it's now called New Pakistan, alright? This is their story. Hello and welcome, my name is Parky and today you are meeting me again in New Pakistan. It has been dealt in New Pakistan because they've decided that it isn't cool anymore to have numbers in the names of their town. Uh, all the other towns around this area were taking the mickey out of them because, you know, it's just a silly name really. But anyway, we're here again. I'm a bit worried about this food situation that we've got going. I know that we've got these pig farms. Uh, we need to get some more of these um, wheat fields up and running. So I'm just going to put some more of these down. Um, and hopefully they'll get those planting. I'm pretty sure that I put on some baking orders. I'm going to increase these a bit because we do have 11 people. So I'd like a minimum of maybe 14 in stock at any one time. So they've got currently... 11 on the go and they've made three so that's good hopefully this will grow a bit quicker i'm a bit conscious that we haven't got much wheat actually growing so what i might do is get people to till this land here with the expectation of planting some more of this wheat later on okay that was a big mouthful that's what she said butchering just double check that i've got this going on and uh, we haven't actually got any butchering of pigs occurring at this point. Uh, I will put in an order for two. Um, I'm pretty sure that we only have pigs at this point anyway, uh, so that's fine. And cooking. We do have ovens because we were lucky enough to find the iron last time. So, And we have an order for these in, so that's all good. Great, good, good. Everything's in order. I'm just slightly concerned about this whole wheat farm situation. Um, because we've put this, even though we've put this order in for the uh, this more wheat to be planted, it means that any wheat that is grown will be put into seeds as opposed to actually making bread. So I'm slightly concerned that we're going to quickly run out of food. So what I might do is I'm going to kill a few chickens and other wild animals that are around here. Uh, let's kill this. I'm pretty sure that I've seen the patch notes for the 0.47 update, I think. I think this is 0.45 at the moment. Uh, I've been reading it through and it seems like they're fixing a lot of the issues with this and adding quite a few new cool features. I think including hero levelling and experience bars and like people, instead of when they die, they just like lose all the armour you've given them. I think they actually do now drop some of it on the floor. Not all of it, I don't think. But we'll soon see. I mean, I'm really looking forward to the update, so that should be cool. And I think they're adding in some more some more walls and other structures and different floors for different things and stuff so that should be cool as well now let's just kill these badgers as well kill that pig um okay actually we've got some raw meat here so hopefully people start cooking that let's kill a badger um right maybe actually what haven't we got at the moment we've got a kitchen carpentry a masonry, a forge, which is good. Uh, we have no personal rooms. But to be honest, I don't really want to attract any more people at this point. I just want to get this up and sort of stable, as it were. Uh, we need a dining room, actually. Let's put down a dining room. Let's put it near the kitchen. Here? Maybe? Let's um, destroy those yellow flowers. Okay, that's good. So we've got quite a bit of wood. So I reckon uh, I'm going to build some walls. Let's build some walls around. Ah, now this is something that I was concerned about. Um, I'm actually going to build a big wall across here. Uh, this is going to use a lot of resources, yes, but um, there are now... Uh, there is a problem with uh, invaders in this game. Let's put it that way. Basically, your village is sieged at some point by slimes or goblins or something horrible and if you have no defences whatsoever then everyone's just going to die and that is not good so I think also what I might want to do is start getting some wooden armour and weapons on these people um, but I don't know how the food is going I think we're doing alright got a bit more bread going so that's always good now let's chop down these trees as well what I also want to do is start up a tree farm. Now this is good because it actually enables you to 
grow trees pretty damn quick if you have a lot of them. So what we're going to do is we're going to till a bit of the land up here. Uh, let's actually till a bit more. And these bushes, uh, some of them are bushes, but some of them are actually uh, tree bushes, if that makes sense. They've done it in a strange way, but look, see here, pine tree bush. And basically what happens is they pick up one of those bushes and they plant it in the ground over here. And then that grows into a tree. Lovely. Uh, so let's actually plant a load of pine tree bushes over here. Um, get someone to chop down that one. See how this wall going? Cool, it's almost done. So that's good. Uh, we need to find some coal, I seem to remember, which I think is over here. Um, hmm, I think this requires us to actually pass through a load of froggies, which someone's being attacked by already for some reason. Uh, who's been stupid enough to go out over here? A thelma. Oh wow, you can actually click on it, it shows you where they are now. That's good. Um, severely wounded, mortally wounded, mortally wounded. I think... Okay, you know what, that's, that's fine. Uh, I'm just going to destroy that human corpse. Uh, why the balls are you going over there? And actually this will be another good thing, because with this walls here it's going to stop people just wandering around over here next to the froggies. So that, that will actually be quite a big help. Uh, one thing I would say is that um, we have lost someone, yes, that is a bad thing, but at the same time, it might just save our situation here because it means we have less mouths to feed and so a little bit of a less strain on the food supply, as it were. Okay, so we've got these wheat farms going. I think I might put down... Let's put down some more pine tree... pine tree bush things over here because there seems to be quite a few of them around. And also what I might do, let's, let's harvest that. Let's harvest all of these. I know they're quite a walk away, but it means that we're not using our wheat supplies. Uh, I also might get some containers going. So what I might do is put some flower barrels behind the shop here. Put five there. That's going to... Mirabelle? Oh, you stupid bitch. Right, okay. This wall is done, so hopefully... What are you doing? Why is everyone killing frogs? Oh, are they trapped outside the wall now? Oh, for Christ's sake. Okay, so let's destroy this one bit of log wall so they can actually come back inside and do something useful. And then we'll build it again. Um, okay, that's fine. We've got even less mouths to feed now. <laughs> um, hopefully these trees will start growing soon because then I can actually start doing something quite useful over here. Um, then we won't have to worry about them wandering off to cut down trees elsewhere. We've got a tree supply quite close to home. Let's just lower this terrain a little bit. Um, and hopefully everything will be fine. Tybalt, why are you killing frogs? Oh, Robin's doing it as well. Oh god, I think we're going to lose someone else here. Oh god. Okay, that they've got even less mouths to feed. That's that's fine. Um Oh great, okay, even less mouths to feed. So that's that's good. Uh I'm just gonna build no oh Christ, what are you doing? You know what, if you die that's too bad. I'm gonna put another log wall here just to stop people from bloody walking out and dying everywhere. Um, oh great, yeah, just go and avenge someone and just die in the process. That's fine. Um, uh, actually, you know what? Auto equip. Go and pick that sword up. Oh god. All of that for a bush? Are you being serious? Okay. So he's got a sword. Where the hell are you going? Is it because I've put in the order for these bushes? Because that's not cool. That's not cool if you're all dying because I want some trees in the village. Um, oh god. Can someone please build this wall so people stop going out walking into dead, deadly frogs and... Oh, shit. 
Right, okay. Oh, cool. So we've got quite a bit of nice wheat field going on at the moment. So what we're going to do is... I'm just going to make sure that I've got enough gathering going. Let's actually gather ten minimum. Great, someone else has died. Uh, let's chop down these trees. Um, let's destroy that human corpse. Oh, God. You know what, forget, forget about the bloody sieges going on. I think we need to worry about just, like, the person who's actually telling them what to do. So let's just cancel this tree-gathering order, because, for Christ's sake, we don't want to lose anyone else. Uh, we need someone to collect some wood and turn it into a log wall so we can actually, like, live in peace without anyone dying. Um, i tell you what, let's actually let's plant some more wheat. I suppose we could say that this is the great, um, the great plague. Actually, no, it's not really a plague. The great um, surge of death of Pakistan, uh, New Pakistan, even. Oh, I feel sorry for these people. They don't live in. They don't live a great quality of life, to be honest. I mean, people are dying every day. Um, I mean, they have lots of. They have plenty of food but they don't have any sort of protection from me. Um, I'm supposed to be helping them. Um, okay. So what else do we need? Is anyone actually going to build this wall? No, we're just going to sleep behind the tree. But you can see what I mean about these trees. They're quite useful. They grow quite quickly. And once you chop them down, it replaces them with the plant bush again so then they can just grow again so you get an indefinite supply of trees quite close by which is nice um i don't know what everyone's doing uh these people are all just sort of walking around okay i was kind of hoping that they were going to go and build the rest of the wall that's fine um what i might do let's have a look at the utilities Oh, that'd be useful, actually. A, uh, a medicine. A hospital. That's probably going to be greatly needed in this town. <laughs> because it is my town. Uh, we're going to put medicine cabinet there. I think that just uses stone and wood, so that we're all good for that. Got plenty of stone. Okay. Uh, we could make an atelier, which isn't... Te uh, it isn't going to be particularly useful, I don't think, at this point in time. I don't think the ability to create hats that people can wear is going to be greatly useful. I might be wrong. Uh, slightly worried about that big hole in the wall still. But that's fine. Um, let's kill a pig. <laughs> Die pig. Um, right. Cool. Let's actually manage this container. Let's disable all and enable flower flower yeah and then actually let's put in an order for some walls i'm just going to use stone walls uh let's destroy these red flowers so i can actually put it down i'm only using stone because at this point in time i think wood is a bit rarer for me to find because i can just dig downwards and there's a load of stone there. So I think that's okay. And let's get a door, which I think is decorative now. Um, maybe. No, it's furniture. Let's put the wooden door on. The wall's still not plugged up. Where's all this wood going? Are they just building... What are they building? Ah, oh, that. Okay. What are you doing? I don't remember if I put any orders in for anything that... Oh, you're making the wall. Okay, that's fine. I think the issue I've got now is actually this gathering is taking priority over what I really should be doing. So, seven... Uh, I really want someone to build this log wall. Uh, it's really bugging me. Chop down those trees and take those ones as well. If we do get sieged at some point, uh, this bridge might be a bit of an issue. So what I might do is, I might completely trap myself in and just destroy one of the, the log bridge blocks. Um, that might be a good idea. Also, something that has been added in now is uh, 
where is it, a tavern. And taverns basically spawn new heroes, and heroes eat your food and go around killing things, basically. So they're like really strong versions of villager soldiers, as it were. So they're quite useful, but possibly not so useful until you start digging down into the dungeons, or if you're under siege. But from my past experience of when I've been sieged in this game, in, in my own sort of single-player world, um, they don't tend to help you very much. They sort of wander around the underground passages that you cut out. So, I don't know. I might just wait a bit before I make a tavern. But what we might do is build a bridge, a bridge, a bed, uh, in there. That's going to use three wood. Uh, let's cut down some more trees. Let's destroy this bush and till this bit of land here to extend the, the tree farm. Uh, can I actually raise this at all? It's a bit irritating having that off kilter. I suppose it doesn't really matter to be honest. And then we can put, we can till a bit more land here, and we'll make this all into tree forests, um, just so that we can have lots of trees to cut down, so we don't have to worry about wood. Uh, we'll also chop down that, and we will chop down those as well. So we've got a bit of a semi-wall going on here. Let's also manage these. Disable all. Enable flower. Disable all. Enable flower. Disable all. Enable flower. And then what I'll do is I'll probably put wheat barrels over next to the mills. Um, but I just want these ones to be uh, flower barrels because it's right next to the the bakery. And I want to keep everything as close as possible because I want to reduce the amount of distance these people have to walk in order to perform their activities because that makes them hungry and that is not a good thing. And the wall has been complete so we're actually safe now, sort of, from threat. Um, that makes me feel happy actually, that is good. Uh, uh, blah, blah, blah. Let's chop that down. Okay. I think that seems like a pretty good place to end the episode. We've got quite a bit done. We've got some more wheat fields, little tree farm going on. Hospitals now there. We've built this wall. Quite a bit achieved. So if you've enjoyed the episode, please feel free to leave a like, comment, or favourite, or even subscribe if you haven't done already. Thank you for watching. Awkward, awkward goodbye, awkward. Goodbye, awkward, awkward. Awkward. <laughs>